Hey, welcome to the Drep and Stone podcast, the podcast where two friends raise a glass and have a conversation. I'm Nick. And I'm Kyle. And we hope that everyone goes and grabs a drink and hangs out along with us. Yeah, pour that iced tea up. Or, you know, if, if you're feeling summery yeah. and you you want a summer beverage, mm-hmm. uh, you can take some ice cubes. And put that in your iced tea? You could. <laughs> oh. Game changer. No, no, no. Listen, you, you, you put some ice cubes in a glass. Are you with me so far? Yes. You're building a perfect summer drink. Okay. Okay. All right. Then you're going to take your favorite. Hose water. <laughs> oh, that's too fancy. <laughs> you're you're going to take your favorite bottle of something. It's going to sound like this. Oh. Yep. You're going to pour that over the ice. Uh-huh. And that's it. You're done. You're good. Oh, yeah. man. That's nice. <laughs> Sounds perfect. I know. Because, you know, you're going to get refreshed. Sure. You're going to get cooled off. Yeah. I mean, if you want to get fancier, mm-hmm. you could. Now, hear me out. Yep. You could take a San Pellegrino Lemonata. Mm. <laughs> you could crack that open. Yeah. Sounds like this. Oh. You could take your perfectly peated whiskey. Mm-hmm. You could meld those two things together. Yep. Delicious. I learned that from a good friend of the show. Yeah. Then. Yeah. You could put. Mm-hmm. Your finger in it, uh-huh. give it a little swirl, <laughs> and then put the hose then, water in. Chef's kiss. Clean that off. No, no it's just oh, okay. Just <laughs> getting all the liquid off your finger. Gotcha. Yeah, delicious. Oh, <laughs> you could also, if you'd like, you, you could get real fancy. You can make yourself a tiki drink because it's tiki drink season. Yeah, for sure, it really is. Or you know what? It's G and T season. That those don't exist at the same time. In my world, pff, one is it, one hand, is it not? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, but I mean, if, one there, if there's a the season, oh. if it's a season, uh-huh. you know, like you can't have oh, summer and fall at the same time. I mean, we do it in Florida, yes, yeah. but you know, I mean, listen, it was raining in the front of my house, and yep. it was clear and bright and sunny in the back of my house the right. other day. So, like, right. I, I don't know what you're talking about. That's true. Yeah, Florida. I mean, it's also margarita season. Indeed. Yeah. So there's three seasons happening right now. Yeah. Do, what we're trying to say is just grab a drink and hang out with us. Yeah. That's all you gotta do. Whether because, it's whether it's hose water, because what? Well, I mean, we we've got a season that we're going to talk about. We do, and that's summer blockbuster season. Blockbuster season, exactly. Yeah, for yeah. sure. So so grab your hose water, get your drink, <laughs> and uh, hang bring out it with inside. Us. Bring that hose inside. <laughs> Go ahead and turn the water on. <laughs> kink it. Oh, oh, you know, don't don't just have that oh, running yeah, 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 wildly, that. but like kink it, and then just every uh-huh. once in a while you need to, <laughs> well, well, <laughs> and then you kink it back. <laughs> Pro move. Yeah, I got you. You know? Well, I mean, the, the more proer move is you take your, your kitty mower? Proer. Pro, proer. Yeah, proer. Yeah. The more proer. Power mower. Proer. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> the, 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 the more pro of the pro, the season pro move. Gotcha. Is you take your baby pool, your kitty pool, the uh-huh. blow up one. Oh, yeah, shit. You, yeah. You put it in, in, the living room. in the living room. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Right. AC. Exactly. Right. <laughs> you see where I'm going. Oh, yeah. Cause, that cause water going to be chilly. You're, you're pro Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you get, you get your, your kink toes inside. Yeah. And then you're good. Go, yeah. go to town. Because, you know. Just sit in the middle of that thing. <laughs> exactly. Drinking your hose water. <laughs> Delightful. <laughs> get you a couple ice cubes. <laughs> Ooh, it's chilly down there. <laughs> Chuck that in the kiddie pool. <laughs> oh, careful for the deep end. Uh, there was a show, uh, I think it's called Last Man on Earth or something like that, and I feel like it was Will Arnett, and maybe I'm mixing my, my yeah. wheels up, and he's like in a so. kiddie pool of tequila or something like that. Mm. <laughs> like, okay. Go for it. <laughs> well, you know, I, I think it was like a margarita kiddie pool. You know, it is, again, a, a season. Yeah, for every season. Speaking of which, Kyle, let's just jump right into it now that we've, well, I guess we haven't jumped right into it. Right. <laughs> I've got some drinks for us. Well, let's drink them. Yeah. Here's here's what I'm thinking because we're talking we're talking about summer blockbusters. We're just gonna kind of let's tell everybody what we're doing. Okay. We're gonna run through the movies of the summer, talk about what we're excited about, what we don't know because we we've never heard of it, mm-hmm. and um, yeah, just kind of run through some movies. Yeah, but before we do that, we need a drink because Indeed we, we talked about drink. That's what we do. So I'm gonna run outside. I'm gonna grab some hose water. I'm gonna bring it back in. Yep. You need my glass? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a fresh one. I listen. We gotta keep it classy around here. Glenn Karen's with the hose water. I, I like it. I don't know if I want to do that. I don't want to see what's floating in that. <laughs> you just you just drink it from the hose, so you don't know. I'm fine with it. All right, I'm gonna be right back because I'm gonna go grab the drink. Okay. Trepidation. You sound, you sound so dis. You sound so disappointed. No, I mean not at all. Just you know, summer blockbuster movies. What would be perfect with that? Some shitty seltzer drink. <laughs> 
All right, Kyle, because it's summer and we're hanging out in our kiddie pool in my living room. Yep. Uh, I figured the best way to get into that summer mood. Yeah. Is to sip on a Jim Beam Kentucky Cooler. Here we go. Yeah. These came out in March of this year, as far as I'm aware. And it's kind of Jim Beam's response to uh, Jack Daniels. Let's sure. be honest. Sure. And last year, around this time, we did the Jack Daniels Country Cocktails. I do. Yeah, and, I do remember. And since... The Facebooks basically told me about these. I had to try them because sure. I like Jim Beam. I like the Beam com- yeah. uh, company as a whole for the most part. And um, I wanted to try it. Yep. So here we go. Here yep. we go. And uh, I figure I'm going to make you try it with me. So uh, there are, are four different kinds of these things. Yep. Uh, they are the Jim Beam Kentucky Coolers. They currently come in a, a mix pack. I don't know if you can find them individually, but this was actually kind of hard to find in our area. I don't know if they're just slowly making their way out right uh but it feels well, you like know a, jim bean they're sure. small organization well, yeah you yeah. can't really push uh, things too hard i actually found it at a gas station <laughs> delicious <laughs> yeah uh cause, gas station cocktail because our, our local uh big you know grocery store didn't have it All right. um but I, I figure like this scream summer there it's, you go it's country co- or it's lemonade coolers. uh it's lemonade this was the sweet tea this is just the first one i grabbed oh, okay uh here's here's some canned words for you crisp cool full of flavor uh it is not a seltzer it is a malt beverage natural fruit flavors the perfect partner to a sunny afternoon sip chilled or in our case a, a sunny afternoon outside but we're in the kiddie pool inside yeah i didn't realize we were skinny dipping i apologize for not for not skinny dipping because I, I i know i well i can see like oh. <laughs> i apologize see, though, for oh, having okay. my trunks on oh uh, you can get comfy if you want <laughs> uh, i'm okay <laughs> well i mean I'm, I'm, my suit's already wet you know i don't want to like have to like throw it over your furniture or something now i just feel weird yeah well we we are where we are it is fine okay i'm, I'm just making sure you're we'll settle in i'm comfortable yeah okay no, stay comfortable thank you all right this comes in at five uh, percent abv and only 120 calories. And you know that it's probably like sort of a health drink because it's in that slim can. Yeah, I noticed <laughs> that. Light colors, you know? Exactly. Yeah, it's slimming. <laughs> probably. Probably. Um, before I crack this open, what color do you expect it to be? Because it's uh, a sweet tea flavored. It's going to it's gonna be, it's going to look like an Arnold Palmer. That or it's going to be clear. <laughs> Nothing No between. chance. It's clear. So? It's okay. malted. Yeah. No. It's sure. Have some it's got to have some. To it. so, okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Cloudy. Cloudy, yeah. cloudy tea. There you go. Okay. How do you feel about it? Fine. <laughs> okay. So good. I brought ice just in case we need to like drop a cube. Might might be a wise choice. You were totally right. Yeah, nailed it. It smells like Arnold Palmer. Hey. I already feel so much better about these. I do too. Right off the bat. You know, uh, upcoming episodes, we're going to be doing a couple different tastings with some seltzers. And uh, because we've already done those tastings because we pre-recorded some stuff, it goes awry rather quickly. <laughs> well, e- even <laughs> even based off of the Jack Daniels country cocktails, uh-huh. th- this already, this makes more sense. Already. it's not neon colored? Yeah. yeah. It doesn't look like uh, Starburst. <laughs> it looks like what it should. It does so look like. Already, I'm, I'm already Arnold in favor Palmer, of yeah. it. What you got in the nose? It smells like iced tea and lemonade. It does. Yeah, it smells great. There's like a slight boozy note. Yeah, but yeah, it smells like it smells like it smells one like of those, an Arnold Palmer um, to me. Uh, it smells like an Arizona sweet tea Arnold Palmer. You know what I'm talking about? Sure. This is actually made by the Boston Beer Company for Jim Beam. No kidding. Yeah. Shall we? Yeah. Let's uh, go. I'm excited. I can tell. <laughs> Settle down, boy. Settle down. That's fine. I can tell. <laughs> Sorry. I can tell. <laughs> That's not half bad. Yeah, it's a, it's fine. It's not off putting in any way. No. It's it's a little slightly boozy. For me, the downfall of it is that the the tea yep. doesn't really taste like tea. No. It's as a as a you know, self respecting southerner. Yeah. Doesn't really taste like tea. Yeah. Doesn't really taste like an all palmer. Like it's got the lemonade kind of thing happening, but like the tea note is very artificial. Yeah. And so it's just a little kind of unfortunate. Which is kind of weird because, you know, you would think that the tea note would be pretty easy to, to get. It would be the lemon note that could be fake. Yeah. Yeah, that that the what what they're trying to pass off as the tea is yep. coming across more like 
strangely like cola. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, like watered like, down cola. Like a cola with a K. Diet cola. <laughs> diet koala. I mean, yeah, diet yeah. koala. <laughs> yeah. It's not bad. No, it's not bad. I'm like drop- if, if if I was at a uh, an event and they had these available yeah. and that was it. Yeah. Sure. What, I, I could drink that. What about this says Jim Beam? Nothing of it. <laughs> no. The word on the can. Yeah. So kind of why I was hopeful for it. And like, again, I'm not disappointed. Yeah. Uh, was that it's a Jim Beam product. So maybe there's some whiskey element to it. Well, I will still go. It's incredibly better than the Jack Daniels stuff. Personally. No, I, I, I actually have a, a good friend that loved those things. And like is is not ashamed to say that he absolutely loved them. And just not my cup of tea. <laughs> but no, like I, I could totally do this. Oh yeah. Pool party? Sure. Sure. Well, I, I that's drink, what I we're doing right now. <laughs> yeah, I forget. <laughs> oh rice. It's actually a little bit better, I think. It's delightful. Yeah, it is. No, nothing wrong with it. You're drinking those? Killing it. You're great. Well, and I think the problem with them, though, is that you can down that pretty damn quick. Because, like, I said there's a bit of boozing but I think it's the... Are it's, they five? Why, why do you think that's the, the general thing? Because I think over that, they're worried for people's health and well-being, I guess. Sure, I get it. But it's always <laughs> just strange that they're always, boom, five. Right on five. Yeah, I don't know. It's got to be something with like the the brewing or you know. Y'all, y'all want to go brewing. five five? No. Nah, five five. Yeah. Four five? Nah, mm-hmm. four five. seven. Mm-hmm. Five. Yeah, it's got to be something. It's got to be something with the brewing process. Yeah. Uh, so I figure what we'll do is we'll have a, a drink and we'll correspond that drink to a month. Got it. So we're gonna start with Justin Timberlake. It's gonna be May. Correct. The first. That was that was good. I'm glad you followed me. Yeah. The first month I think of of summer movie season, although technically May is a spring month, right? Is is May. Yep. May. 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 Uh, and this year it opened with none other than Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three, which you've seen. I did. Yeah. I have not yet seen. It was the day before my birthday. Yep. And thoughts. I mean, we, we haven't talked about it, like uh, we don't have time to if, get if into I'm, everything. If I'm talking about it as if I didn't see it, no, no, no a just, thousand percent, just it was. One of I would say right I'll 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 go ahead and say I've got like four maybe five movies this summer that I was like absolutely jacked to see sure. that's one of them like yeah. that would have been in my my top two okay probably as as someone who has seen it yeah recommend it absolutely yeah. loved it uh, like it is such a satisfying conclusion it's fantastic from from what I've heard it is a return back to the kind of old Marvel I think you actually told me yeah that. I'm actually like the the source of that yeah okay. Um, <laughs> Yeah, no, it, it feels like Marvel pre Endgame. Yeah, like and and it feels like they just they they know what they're doing. Like James Gunn's got that stuff on lockdown. I think they just had a formula for the Guardians that just worked. Right, and it was just they just knew what they were doing. And they're so I think the cast is also comfortable and and, and close and tight that they just they just knocked it out of the park again. And and I think that's just nothing but like excitement for me of what he's gonna do with DC. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, me too. I, I think I hate that he's leaving Marvel. But, I hate that we're gonna lose this version of the Guardians. But I think he's gonna revive some DC. But you you have to respect a tight trilogy, right? And what they did with those movies because they're 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 just great. There's yeah. not a whole lot of negatives that you can pull out of any of them. So the next movie on the list, and these to be fair, like all these in May, they've already they've already come out, but is Fast X or Fast 10? Yeah. Summer blockbuster. Yep. Thoughts on on the Fast and Furious series as a whole. For me personally, I saw the first two. Yep. Never saw another one. Was was Tokyo Drift 2? I think it was 3. Okay, that's that's last Fast one. and Furious and then too fast, too furious. Yep. And then Tokyo Drift. Tokyo yep. Drift was the last one I saw. Ironically, I met the guy that was the lead in Tokyo Drift. Really? He was actually from North Alabama. Really? Yeah. He used to go to the driving range that I worked at. <laughs> so like I mean, and they were like we're like roughly the same age. Wow. So like met him a few times, but never saw his movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ironically enough. To me, Fast and Furious just screams summer movie. Popcorn. Even though like I haven't seen the last eight, seven yeah. of them, yeah, like it just it's it's made for cold movie theater in the height of the summer. Yeah, popcorn. Yep, I'm sure it's enjoyable. Sure, I just for whatever reason I just haven't seen any of them. Yeah, I know people that just love the Fast 
Furious series as a whole. Yeah, it's one of those things. Like, as far as my take on it, I could be completely wrong, but like that 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 first movie was so heavy into gearhead and um, just cars. Yeah, and it was more of a focus on that NOS, like being introduced to NOS, you know, and like just street racing kind of a thing. Right. And then at some point in time, it like it turned into like espionage and but and what wasn't it always, there was always like it's basically point break with cars perhaps like wasn't that always the thing but like well i feel like originally it was a much more like it was not this like big broad like almost like james bond right. type stuff spectacle it was very much more just yeah, yeah. hey we're, we're trying to get close to this one guy and getting intel from him and his street racing organization and how we can clamp down on that so they bring in Paul Walker to like infiltrate that. Right. But then it turned into this like way bigger. Yeah. Like yeah. This, like way, international espionage. Yeah. It's yeah. That kind of thing. So it just like escalated exponentially. So it brings back, this one brings back basically like the family, you know. Oh, I think they've all always Vin had Diesel. that. But it's like, and it's also too like, who, who's, a, who's another celebrity that we can pull into this? Correct. And I think uh, you, know, you got Aquaman. You got Aquaman in this one. You got Captain Marvel. Oh, Brie Larson. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like you got, you got a lot you, of. You know who you don't have superheroes. Hmm. You don't have a uh, friend of the show, Dwayne. Dwayne's not in this one. I don't know why. Is he it, not? I don't. I don't know if that. Because character... I, I saw something where he was like, there was a picture of him with it, but I didn't know if they were just talking about like the series as a whole. I, as far as I know, like I have still, no idea what's going beefing. on. Sure, I, I guess, or maybe like him and group did. <laughs> that's what it was, right? Or did his character die? I, I have no idea what's going on. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> The next one on our list is White Man Can't Jump. You know, I saw I saw a trailer for that uh, recently and uh-huh. was like, actually kind of like, oh, yeah, I can see that working. Did, did you see the early 90s movie? Sure. Woody yeah. Harrelson? Yeah. yeah. Wesley I, Snipes. Exactly. And the, the re, I don't know if it's like a rebooting or a retelling. I'm a little fuzzy on I it. think it's a, it's a retelling. I don't think it's a reboot. Well, what, what's the difference there? I think it is just, it's the same concept, but I guess like contemporary Jackie Chan karate kid. Like we're just yes. doing the thing. I think again. that's what's okay. happening. Okay. I don't think it's, it's definitely not a sequel. Right. I think it's a reboot. I, I think uh, I haven't seen it yet. Uh, obviously because we're recording in, in early June at this point, but no, we're, we're recording in May. Today's oh yeah, last today's, day today's last day of May. Yeah. Uh, so as we record this, I haven't seen it yet, but yeah. I, I think, I think I might put it on. I'm not like super invested in it, but it yeah. does. It, it looks it comes on something that I currently own streaming <laughs> abilities for. Sure. Well, well, you got the Hulus. Is that where it's coming? Yeah. It's going to be on the Hulus. There you go. Yeah. yeah there I, you might, go. I, I, I will never put that on. I'll be honest. <laughs> but I wouldn't mind if it were on. That's, I that's would what watch I mean. It. Like, I, I, okay. I will <laughs> never put that on. <laughs> Am I going to seek it out? Mm. No chance. <laughs> not for me anyway. Okay. Like that'll never be because there's always somebody sitting on the couch with me. Yeah. So it'll never go on. <laughs> gotcha. Ever. Okay. So how about this next one? Yep. This one is The Little Mermaid. Super pumped to see it. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I have, been, have been, if I could be honest, one day when, when the first teaser for that came out mm-hmm. and like all, all the controversy was already out there of, of who they've hired and all of that sure. nonsense. But when the first teaser came out and it showed her piping out part of your world, yeah, I was blown away. And from that moment, and that was like probably like back in like January, February, sure, I was like, bring that right now. Yeah, can't wait to see that. I'm really excited to see it because I have not yet. In relation to all the controversy, ah, is it controversy? It's the the it's controversy. The miasma like, of opinions. Sure. Uh, related to the character, to all the updates, to all the other characters, all that kind of thing. And, and the mass machine that is Disney live action. I've been disappointed by Disney live action movies in the past. Oh, yeah, sure. I'm looking at you, Aladdin. Just saying. Sorry. That That's the one you go to? Well, I mean, I could go to... It's hard to watch it now just because of Will Smith. But, man, I mean, that's, that's not a bad one. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say. Or, or uh, Lion King. Lion just, King. Yeah. A boar. Because it's, it's not even live. It's the same thing. Like yeah. It's basically just CGI. And, and the point is, I'm interested. Like, do you do you pull it off? Do you nail it? Yeah. And um, I, it, it, it's to be seen. Well, and, and just just with all the, the nonsense around it, like, I, I could not pull for a movie harder, personally. <laughs> I, I like, don't. I hope it's so freaking amazing so that everybody's like, yeah. I, I hope it does well. Yeah. I do. So we're just, we're, we're at the end of May. 
Yep, it's gonna be June. <laughs> it just doesn't have the same ring, does it? <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna take my my May papers here. Yep. Uh, obviously, you can see that I'm skipping some movies, so, and we'll ask that question later. Like, what movies did we skip? But uh, I, there's no need to even cover that. Movies that I skipped? Yeah. Well, I just did. No, I'm just saying, like, we don't need to like what movies did we skip? Because we skipped them. Yeah. Right. So we don't okay. even need to talk about. Them. But you know what we're not gonna skip? What? This next drink. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> so I want you to finish that one. <laughs> okay. I mean, you don't have to. I'm gonna go grab our next drink. Are they, are they all cocktails? Yeah. Okay. All right. So now that I'm back to answer your question, this one goes in the realm of not lemonade, but punch. Okay. Like a like a strawberry. Strawberry punch. punch. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, still 120 calories, still 5% ABV. Doesn't say lemonade anywhere. St- it does not say lemonade. Okay. No, it just says punch. This right. is strawberry punch. Basically all, all the same kind of stuff. You know what I didn't read on the other can? What was that? Drink it. Any damn way you please. That's <laughs> on the can. Fair enough. Yeah. Look at uh, that. Spelled it correctly and everything. Damn. Damn. You didn't think they'd spell it damn correctly? Well, it's Jim Beam. Who knows? Uh, Any dang <laughs> way you want. No, it says damn. Damn. Yeah. It's all the, the same. The day that we live in, man. <laughs> well. You yeah. know, 20 years ago, no way you, in hell. You wouldn't add damn on You there. wouldn't put yeah. damn on a beverage. <laughs> you sell at a gas station. Ready? Yeah. Can I say a little surprising? There's like zero carbonation. Yeah. In any of these. No, there's no. Psh. Yeah. Just. Thanks. What color is that? Bile. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> kind of bile Gray. Ooh. <laughs> I'm, I don't know if it's lack of a clean glass. It's very fake strawberry. Well, yeah, but, but like, <laughs> take, take the nose and like hold it like really deep, but like not like, like oh, well. slowly. Mm-hmm. Like something. Some funky. <laughs> something buttholey <laughs> like comes in at the it's end. a little dank. You getting it? <laughs> yeah. But now I, I don't can't... know if it's, if it's like, maybe it's just like leftover. <laughs> um. Hose water? Arnold Palmer. Because, God, it, like, curls my toes when I get it. <laughs> it's like, there's this lovely strawberry, for the most part. Yeah, it's like... But then, like... The... Do you remember... <laughs> you know what it smells like? It smells like... <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> it smells to me like those uh, cream savers. You remember Life Savers used to make those cream saver candies? Yep, totally. That's exactly what it smells like to me. Yeah, it does. All right. Ooh. Now that we got just, ice and it it's just, clinking everywhere. It hits you every once in a while. Like, oh. All right. I'm going in. Okay. What kind of strawberry is that? It's more soda y. Yeah. It, it's way more strawberry on the nose than it is on the palate. Yeah. It's kind of tart. Man, there's just not a lot of flavor to it. No, there's really not. It is almost like a seltzer. It's really light on flavor. It, it's definitely not as good as the mm. sweet tea. Yeah. It's like the, the flavor on it is. Almost gone. Yeah. It's like, it's already watered down. Yep. But we didn't add any water to it. No, it, it's really, that's where the hose water would come in. Right. Uh, it's, it's really, really light. Yeah. Like there's nothing. I'm like, oh, okay. Hello, strawberry. Right. It's like strawberry on the nose. And then the palate, you get this like, like hint of fruit. Yeah. But nothing strawberry. Well, it's punch. And usually when I think of punch, I, I'm thinking like really strong flavor. Sure. So the fact that you'd even like big think mold. Of, nothing yeah. about this suggests of a punch. It's like you're at the the wedding or whatever, and they've got that big punch bowl, and you had a full glass of ice, and they gave you a ladle of punch, yeah. and you went back over to the table, but then you went got up and like danced for a while, and all the ice melted. Exactly. And you came back, and that was that, what you were exactly left what with. Like. And you know when they put that uh, that sher- sherbet, yeah. sherbet. Sherbert. Sherbert. Yeah. Yep. And uh, it's just all melted. A couple of just chunks <laughs> floating. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's like week seven up. Yeah. <laughs> well. Oh. You ready to move to the June movies? Yeah. What are the June movies? All right. So this is for us as of recording right on the horizon. Yep. Uh, we're going to start with a little film you probably never heard of. And, okay. Uh, this is Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Oh, uh, this is number one for me. I agree wholeheartedly. Well, maybe I don't. <laughs> now that I think about what's coming down the line. I totally. This okay. is this is my number one most anticipated movie of the summer. Really? Yeah. 
Yeah. I, I will say like I am pumped for it because I went into into the Spider-Verse. Thank you. I went into the Spider-Verse. In into, into the Spider-Verse. Spider- <laughs> <laughs> like knowing nothing other than you saying like this is amazing. Yeah. Which I thought was a pun on just Spider-Man. And I, I knew nothing about it. Yep. And I freaking loved it. Like yep. in terms of a an animated movie at that point, what they did was freaking incredible. Yeah, I feel like it's groundbreaking. Agreed. Like what they did with that movie. I would say that that is probably my favorite Spider-Man film thus far. Like oh. it's, I, I, I'm gonna say it. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know that I disagree with you because that's, that's, uh, I got to think about that. Yeah. As much as like because Tobey Maguire is my Spider-Man. Yeah. As much as I, I love that original Spider-Man, this is just this is great. Yeah, I can't, I can't argue that it's. I think it is probably the best Spider-Man movie ever made. But if I were to say like, you know, experience wise, like, I don't know that I could, I don't know you could ever beat that first Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movie. Just experience. Wise. Sure. Like but that, that I movie think that's was probably also nostalgia. equally groundbreaking. Right. I don't even mean nostalgia wise. I just mean like when you saw that for the first time, like Spider-Man actually freaking whipping through the city. Like, Very true. Sick. Very true. But yeah, no, just, just what they did with that movie and then what, what the trailers have shown for this movie, it just looks like they've taken it to the next level Absolutely. of amazingness. And I can't wait to see all the different versions of Spider-Man <laughs> and um, just just what specifically the, the series of movies is doing for the character of Spider-Man. Yeah. I've purposely... It's really pushing him into like... Elite Agreed. top superhero Agreed. status. I've I've for purposely me. watched no trailers at all. Like mm-hmm. I want to go into this completely fresh. I don't even know how you do it. I don't know how you're able to avoid it. Uh, I'm just that good. Yeah. I mean, you know, Kitty Pool and Tears of the Kingdom. That's yeah. basically you know, that's all I got right now. Sure. Yeah. The internet knows me too well. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this shit. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, like, just ah, because you know me. Try to avoid the Tic Tacs. Yeah. Other than, you know, my occasional three hour dripping stone TikTok death scroll. Right. So, like, I don't actually, I'm not exposed to a lot of that because I like purposely avoid it. Yep. But I do, I do see bits and pieces and I'm like, I scroll right past it because I, I don't want to see commentary. I don't want to see people talking about it, I, especially something like this. I want to go in cold. Well, I don't avoid it leading up to it. But once the thing is out, like, I don't want to be spoiled by mm-hmm. any means. Mm-hmm. But like trailers and things like that, like, I get I get hyped for that shit. No, like, I'm all for it. I'm I'm, I'm becoming a little bit more uh, open to trailers, but for like this specifically, I I don't want to watch. Yeah, like when when Guardians came out, like I kind of went cold social media for sure. like two days until I knew that I could go see it. Right. When once we got back into town, I wasn't sure when we were going to be able to see it, but like it it worked out that like we could go one Sunday evening, and I was just like, we got to go right now because like I'm tired of like that's where it fits. trying to right. avoid my phone because it's gonna because you will get spoiled sure after like three or four days you will be spoiled right. somebody will have an image somewhere because it, it's happened to me several times or, is, or, or you, you play that saw game the wrong thing right you play that game of like i read the headline damn it the headline is yeah it's like, already <clears throat> i'm already yeah. spoiled so after <laughs> that we have transformers they're still making those huh uh rise of the beasts yep that's a movie yep it's coming out yep it's gonna have um transformers in it Yep, it's probably. gonna be be cars with voices, more than likely. So this is actually, from what I understand, um, kind of off the heels of the success of Bumblebee. Yep, you know, there you go. And it actually, how, takes, many, how many Transformers movies have you seen? How many was Shia LaBeouf in? At least two, if not a full trilogy. Okay, I, don't really know. I, I saw I saw LaBeouf. Mm-hmm. I saw LaBeouf two. Yep. And was Marky Mark in one? Yep. I saw the Marky Mark one. Gotcha. How many Marky Marks were there? No clue. Okay. I saw a Marky Mark Transformers movie. I, he might have just been in the one. I, okay. But I don't, I don't really know. I have no I have no I, idea. I like Marky Mark. Yeah. Um, for the most part. I think I think he's, you know. Yep. And uh, I mean, he's I, done some bad shit. Yeah. No, well, but, you know, for sure. Somehow. He's still a movie star. Yeah. He's done some. Anyway. But I don't remember any of those movies at all. Yep. I mean, I, I don't remember much about them. I remember like at the time, like the special effects being just like, Wow. Like, this is the day and age that we live in where, yeah. like, Transformers can do that. Mm-hmm. But then there's also, like, it was overdone. It's Michael Bay. And it's it's Michael Bay at his most Bayist. Like, I think I think the first one worked as well as any of them could. Sure. Sure. In terms of, like, storyline and 
just all of it. Yeah. I think, I think the, 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 the anomaly that was the special effects at the time, that's about as, as good as you're going to get. Yep. And then it just became like overused. Oh, and sure. They, they found, like, a, I remember a the successful second thing. one, the second one was just like too much. Yep. You know, they found a successful thing and then they just kept doing that thing. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, you know, and the, the Bumblebee movie or, or this one, they may be great. I have no idea. But I have. it's kind of like, it's very similar to the Fast and Furious movies to me. Of just uh, I saw the first one. It was okay. Saw the second one. So like, oh, it's the same thing. And But that thing is not for me. Right. Like, I, I did not grow up a huge Transformers nah, me neither. kid. Like, I think I was just outside of their popularity mm-hmm. range. So it was never a, a thing for me like it is for a lot of people. Yeah. So I just haven't seen... Hardly any of them. I, I'm with you. But again, like Fast Furious movies, man. They make money. They make money and they're popcorn. And I, I get that. But I think too, like Fast Furious, ironically, they make so much money overseas for whatever reason. Like, I mean, I kind of get the Transformers because it's like the the kaiju sure. kind of effect. But like we're Fast and Furious, I really don't get it. Like, why, why do they make so much money overseas? I don't, I don't get that. All anyway. right. Our next movie. Yep. Elemental. This is... Pixar's latest animated movie comes out by the guy or is directed by Peter Son, who directed The Good Dinosaur. Okay. To me, it looks a lot like, uh, what was the Feelings movie? Inside Out. I don't know anything about premise, but it looks a lot like Inside Out to me. Yeah, it looks like Inside Out seems to have like a similar feel story-wise of, or at least conceptually as Zootopia. Yes. Where it's like the different worlds and like we can't blend these worlds yeah. together yeah i listen <clears throat> it's pixar I'm, I'm gonna watch it I'm, I'm probably gonna like have some sort of existential meltdown for a second uh i'm gonna be looking for some sort of deeper meaning in all of this and it's probably gonna be fine maybe <laughs> did you see red i did i never watched red yep i did i got did you ever watch turning, turning red is that what it's called or is it just oh called yeah red? You're, i think you're right turning, turning red. red yeah um, i did I, I thought it was i thought it was good did you see I'm trying to think like what are the most recent onward? Is that Pixar? That was that was Pixar, but yeah. I feel like that was further back and I'm trying to go. Uh Luca. I did see Luca. Yeah. Never saw that one either. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. That's I, I feel like Pixar's in that realm right now of like fine. Yeah. I mean like they haven't really knocked one, they haven't crushed one in a minute. Yeah. You know? So maybe Elemental's gonna do it for them. Well, from what I've seen, I know you don't watch trailers, but like just from what I've seen, like it, it does have what seems to be a very even though it, it does have like a similar look and stuff, it seems to be have a little bit more of a stylistic edge on it uh-huh. than recent Pixar movies. Sure, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I, I'm hopeful, but yeah. at the same time, I'm not like jacked about it like I used to be about. Oh, agreed. Like, oh, I think, it's the I next think Pixar Lightyear, movie. I honestly, I think Lightyear kind of did that to me. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm with you. Yeah, I get it. And coming out the same weekend is The Flash. Super jacked. If I can be honest, for the Flash, but why? Because my Batman will be back on screen and in that's his it. full glory. Agreed completely. I could care yeah. less I, about the I, Flash. I know nothing about Ezra Miller as Barry Allen. Like I, I have no idea. Well, because we haven't been given anything. But like I know like that nothing. that was like DC to me that for the for them to go straight into a Justice League movie and not not introduce any of the characters was like such a bizarre thing. So yeah, why why would we know or care about Barry Allen? Right. I don't. Correct. I don't care anything about this story, but what I want but to see Michael is Keaton. Michael Keaton Batman. Oh my god! Back on screen, yeah. and I will go see that shit. So I have watched this trailer, and when Michael Keaton shows up, I'm like, because <gasps> I didn't know. Like I, I went, I watched the trailer. I had no idea. Yeah. And you see Michael Keaton. Was it a Super Bowl trailer? Hmm? Was it a Super Bowl trailer? Perhaps. I think it was. Yeah. And. Michael Keaton comes out. And I forget what he says, but I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. We got Michael Keaton as Batman. Yeah. So I don't care. And like Time doing out. like shit. Batman shit. Like, yeah, just cool <laughs> right. Batman shit. Like, I mean, it just looks. It, I mean, the the movie, to be fair enough, like, I, I, I'm i excited for it. Yeah. Like, just because I want to see him. Um, I, I understand the, the storyline roughly is the. The Flashpoint right. story, and, I, and I've watched the animated version of that, which is interesting enough. So I, I, I kind of can watch the trailer and see the story beats happening, and if that's what happens, cool. Yeah. But regardless, like I just want to go see 
that Mike, Batman, Batman doing Batman. the thing. Like in preparation, like me and me and oldest daughter, we just rewatched the the Tim Burton Batman movies. Like we just watched both of them. <laughs> like I'm ready, man. And it's bat. Shit crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm ready for it. Me too. Let's go. The same weekend, Kyle. Wow. Yeah, this is crazy. You've got Extraction 2, Electric Boogaloo. Oh, so... I'm just kidding. I added that last part. But uh, Extraction 2. So a, a, a Netflix release. Absolutely. Yeah, this is uh, with Thor. I mean, Chris <clears throat> Hemsworth. Okay. Yeah. Um, this is written by one of the Russo brothers, Joe Russo. What was it? Yeah. And did you see the first one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought it was great. I did too. Like, just in terms of like action yeah awesome it's it's chris hemsworth doing the hemsworthiness yeah it's very rambo very much so um, uh uh expendables kind of thing yeah yeah it's, um, it's 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 summer blockbuster action movie yeah and the first one was actually great i thought so too like it, really good it has some really good uh film shots like the camera work in that i thought was really cool yeah i thought the fight scenes and the action moments in that were like as good as anything we've gotten in the past five years yep absolutely so i'm a little kind of bummed because i thought they ended it so well like it didn't it didn't seem like it needed a sequel agreed so but so just a little bit of concern there of like i don't know that we needed it no but you know obviously we're gonna do it again with i I will say this like i'm excited because it's hemsworth doing movies Mm -hmm. and we don't know how many more movies we're gonna get from him because he's for all intents and purposes said he's stepping away from hollywood really i didn't know that yeah yeah Uh, he he um there's a nat geo series on disney plus about him kind of figuring out that he has some sort of uh gene linked to like early onset alzheimer's i think Mm -hmm. and him going like i think i'm gonna back away from all of this so as far as i know hemsworth as thor is going to be ending pretty soon and he's just backing away now that that was obviously like within the last year or so so that might have changed but after that we have a movie that you probably don't know a whole lot about okay but i'm super excited for and that's asteroid city Yep. Heard anything about it? Nope. That's okay. It is a the next movie by one of my favorite filmmakers, and that's Wes Anderson. Mm. Uh, you've you've seen Wes Anderson movies before, Bottle Rocket, Darjeeling Limited. Never. Okay. But that that's a <laughs> it's a it's a. I mean, I know Wes Anderson. Sure. I don't know if I've ever seen anything by him. Okay. To be fair, but uh, it's it's a it's a common social media trend. Oh right yeah, now, so for sure. Like to do anything as if it were a, a Wes, Wes Anderson. Anderson thing. Yeah, and I really as it, much like kind of poking fun at his aesthetic that people are doing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I really love Wes Anderson and I, I like his writing. I like his movies. I like the whole shtick because it's a, it's a fantastic world that it's just, it doesn't exist. It's not real. And I, I like that. So this one actually stars a bunch of people, Jason Schwartzman, uh, Scarlett Johansson, Tom Hanks, Jeffrey Wright, friend of the show, uh, Tilda Swinton, Brian Cranston, Edward Norton, Adrian Brody, Leo Schreiber, like basically everybody and their brother's mother's cousin's uncle is in this movie. Wow. And uh, it, it looks fantastic. It, it's just, it's cool. It's basically, it's a Wes Anderson story about, this city that there's an asteroid coming or I don't I don't really know. Cause it's Wes Anderson. Uh, I'm along for the ride and I'm excited. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking at his, his, uh, movies, filmography and yeah. I don't think I've seen any of them. Eh, that's I mean, okay. I've seen, I've seen clips and bits and pieces, sure, but I don't think I've actually sat down and watched any of them. Can I recommend you one? Sure. And I, I actually do think you'd really like it. Oh, I'm sure I would love yeah, any of them. I, really like, I wanted to watch the grand Budapest hotel. Yeah. And just don't never got with, around to don't it. Don't start with that one. But, start, honestly, start with Darjeeling limited. Okay. Like it's great. It's Ellen Wilson. Yeah. It's Jason Schwartzman. It's Adrian Brody. It's great. Sure. And, uh, it's a cool story. It's, it's, it's not the most West Anderson, Wes Anderson, but, uh, it's great. Yeah. It's a good movie. And then after that, the movie that I think I'm looking forward to the most Uh-oh. is Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Wow. Yeah. That, that, that's certainly my most intrepid movie. <laughs> Trepidatious. Trepidatious. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> okay. Sorry. That's okay. Uh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm very concerned. I would, I would love nothing more for it to be amazing, but... Crystal I, Skull suggests listen, otherwise. Listen, buddy, I share your concern unequivocally. I am with you, but I, I'm excited. 
I love Indiana Jones. And and I, I yes, Crystal Skull, as much as, as we've kind of shit all over it and as much as it deserves to be shat upon, I, I want to see one more Indiana Jones movie. I, I've I've read some. I didn't I didn't want to do it, but I did the thing. Have you have you watched any trailers? <clears throat> I have watched a trailer. Okay. Yeah, and I I think it's that the trailer doesn't concern you. It it does, but I think it's that blend of weird campy that Indiana Jones. I, I like about Indiana Jones. Okay. Um, what I am concerned about is I've heard some stuff. I've read some things which I didn't. I shouldn't have done. Mm. But I felt I fell into the trap, Kyle. Um, about like mixed reviews. Yeah. But I, all I saw was it's getting mixed <laughs> reviews. Sure. Okay. I mean, re- reviews and everything, don't. Everything gets mixed reviews. Sure. Yeah. Reviews don't really. Like, I mean, I you know you've seen movies that like got the best reviews from the critics. Right. That sucked. Right. Exactly. You've seen movies that got horrible reviews from critics, and they're great. Right. So that that doesn't really bother me. Listen, but it, it's got Harrison Ford. It's got Nazis. It's got space race. I'm 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 for it. Like, um, I, I fully expect for the CGI, the, the de-aging uh-huh. scenes to like work so well. Yes. I think cause like just the bits that I've seen and I think for this specifically, they will pour every ounce of whatever they can into making Sentage. sure that that looks right. Correct. So I think those will be great. However... It, it's honestly, it's just, it's just the older stuff for me that just I'm concerned about. I, I want it to be so good. I want it to be as good as I thought Crystal Skull was going to be. Listen, but you've got Mads Mikkelsen as a villain. Yep. Y- you've got uh, John Reese Davies saying something about Indiana. Yep. Like, I'm, you know, I, come on. It, get, here, here's my thing. They know I, I I need to believe that they've learned from Crystal Skull and what a travesty that was. And and again, to be fair, I have not seen it since I saw it. We've talked about this, but I want to believe that they've learned and I want to believe that they've improved upon what they've done. Speaking about improving upon what they've done, you want to go to our next drink? Sure. All right. We're going to return back to the lemonade. Everything's the same. As we said, you know, perfect partner to a sunny afternoon. Sit yep. chilled. Yeah, we're uh, going peach. Yeah, drink it any damn way you please. No, sir, we're not going peach. Uh-oh. We're going black cherry. Oh. Uh, but it's the lemonade. We're returning right, back to the lemonade. Right, it's right. not the punch. We're yeah, returning back to the lemonade. Cher- cherry's never one of my favorites. I, I can. I, mm, oh, we'll see. Yep. Is this red? <laughs> uh, I think it's going to be pink. It's going to be red. Oh, shit. <laughs> Man. How did that even happen? Okay, it's a little darker than the strawberry. Strawberry. I done spilled it all over me. Yeah, you got half of it. A lot of carbonation in these. Yeah, I was gonna. I was waiting for you to say that. Half of it in the pool. You want an ass cube? Yeah, I do. It, it doesn't smell awful. It smells like Christmas time. <laughs> what? I, Christmas. That. That. that Smells like those chocolate covered cherries that I only eat it. Oh, the, the queen, yeah, thing, whatever cordials. No, no, no. It, it smells like a bomb pop. I have no idea what a bomb pop is. Yeah, we've had this rocket pop. Same thing. Oh, the the, the sure. red wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The red rocket. Sky rockets. I enjoy the nose of this. I mean, as far as like cherries go, it smells like the red, <laughs> the red starburst. It does smell like the red. It smells starburst. like the red starburst taste. Yeah, absolutely, it does. All right, shall All we? Right. And it tastes like a cherry, cherry slurpee, cherry snow cone. Yep. Yep. Yeah. That's pretty good. Honestly, that's surprisingly good. As far as cherry things go, like that's actually, that's kind of delightful. Yeah. That's definitely way better than the strawberry. And I think I'd edge it over the Arnold Palmer too. Yeah. It's not bad at all. That. mm, Okay. Like it's got the right amount of flavor. Yes. Like the strawberry didn't have enough flavor. It was too weak. But this has got the right amount of flavor to it. It's got the right amount of flavor, and it's not its not like overly cherry, but it's mm-hmm. cherry. It's not fake cherry yeah. either. That, that's actually really good. <laughs> Hot dang. There you go, did Jim Bain. Did not expect it like that one at all. That, that's a thats a Kyle seal of approval right there. It's weird. However, like, no hint of lemonade. No. <laughs> no. So why, I don't know why you put lemonade. Well, you just, could just call it black cherry. Well, I think I would be more attuned to punch. Sure. The punch would make more sense to me. I mean, like, l- let me let me go in with thinking lemonade. No, like, yeah, it's just cherry soda. Yeah, but it's, 
It's it's, it's, a, it's a it's a it's a liquid, not overwhelming. liquid starburst. It's just yeah, yeah, it's tasty, pretty tasty. I like it. That's the winner. All right, you ready to go into uh, your favorite month? Okay, July. July. All right. So first, we go with a horror movie that neither one of us are going to go see. Okay. Uh, this is Insidious: The Red Door. I have no idea what the Insidious series is about. I know a lot of people love them because this is the fifth movie in the Insidious series. Wow. It's kind of weird though that you're going to do. Five movie? Are you going to do a, a horror movie in the middle of summer? Okay. I don't know. Anyway, and then we go July 12th. Yep. Is part one of Mission Impossible oh, Dead Reckoning. Good one. I'm also excited for this, too. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Like, I, 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 I'm I, really looking forward to that. Because, listen, it, as, as controversial as Tom Cruise is, the dude does the thing that he does in the best way that he does the thing that he does. Sure. He runs on camera. Yep. He, he makes a damn good action movie. He makes a damn good action we, movie. We've never talked about Maverick. No, we haven't. It's a fantastic film. Yeah. It I is mean, great. Incredible. Like, I, I, I can't remember uh, a better movie experience. Yeah. Agreed. Than in, in the last 10 years. I mean, Endgame... <laughs> Infinity War certainly are up there, but th- this is in the conversation with those. Like I, I Maverick agree. in the theater, I, I I can't. I was on the edge of my seat, man. Like, like legit. That 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 last half hour of that movie is cinema gold. Yeah, so good. Carol and I watch it here in the house, and like even on obviously a, a smaller screen, it's still like yeah. Damn. Yeah, we just watched it the other night. It is such a good movie. And it, it hits all those beats the right way. And, and back to Mission Impossible, I like this series, man. Yeah. Have you seen all of them? I have seen all of them. Same. Yeah. I, like, I this did. is like the exact opposite of like the <laughs> Easily. Fast and Furious yeah. and Transformers. Like I've seen every Mission Impossible. And I haven't wait. seen I haven't seen all of them in theaters, but I have seen all of them. And I like all of them. Some are Same. better than others, but yeah. I like all of They're them. They're all solid. There's not one that's like Ah, oh, I know that one's garbage. Yeah, it's not worth the watch. Like they're all pretty damn good. Exactly. I, I want to see Tom Cruise, you know, jump off of a mountain with a motorcycle onto an airplane and a helicopter or whatever. I don't care. Yeah, I just want to see it. Yep. And I'm for it. Yeah, and I'm I'm intrigued. Why is it part one? Kind of a thing. Like I don't. I'm not usually a fan of that sort of a thing. Like right. calling your your play before you do it. But in an instance like this, for whatever reason, I'm like I'm I'm for it. I, I kind of, I mean, he's in his 60s, so I kind of think this might be the last thing in terms of Mission Impossible. Yeah, probably probably in terms of Mission Impossible. I don't, I don't feel like Tom Cruise no. ever stops making movies. Like, no. I think he'll be making movies. He's, he's going to Clint Eastwood his way into, yeah. you know, whatever. But yeah, I, don't, I don't see him directing no. ever, but I think he'll just keep keep going. Right. But He'll have some badass, like, 80-year-old sure, character that sure. kicks ass. Maybe he's going to be... <laughs> He's going to be uh, Indiana Jones. <laughs> Recast it right now. Uh, I, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to yeah. be fun. But I, I'm with you, too. Like, why call it part one? Because, like, you've never done that before. Why don't you just call it Dead Reckoning? And then the next one, like, Reckoning Dead or I don't know, I don't know something stupid. Yeah. yeah. Reckoning Resurrection. Ooh, yeah. Resurrection in the Dead. Yeah. Then, then you can be, you know, a zombie movie. Yeah. All right. The next film that is on our list uh, comes out the 21st of July, and this is Greta Gerwig's Barbie. Yeah, Barbie. Barbie. Listen, I'm actually excited for this. I'm not excited. That's <laughs> I'm not excited. a word I I'm could ex- say. I'm excited. I'm interested. I think I'm I'll excited. watch it at yeah. some point in time. Uh-huh. Not, not in theaters, probably. No, I won't see it in theaters either. But I am interested because... It looks bizarre, <laughs> yeah. but there, there. Not that you would ever see, have seen this, but there's, there's a, a couple of Disney movies mm-hmm. that were on the Disney Channel called Teen Beach Movie. No, nah. and it looks like it's the same premise as those. Which is, in in Teen Beach Movie, a couple of kids get somehow transported into a 1950s uh, surfer movie. Surfer movie. Oh. And then they have to figure out a way to get out. And then in the sequel, the characters from the movie come into the real world and have to figure out a way back in. Interesting. And yeah, it does seem this similar. seems kind of similar where it's like somehow Barbie comes to the real world and yeah. has to find a way back. I don't know. Listen, here, here's why I'm interested. It looks insane. First of all, 
It's Margot Robbie playing Barbie. Yep. Which I think works. Yep. It's Ryan Gosling playing Ken. Yep. Which I think works. Yep. Although a little old, but I think it works. Yep. And did you see Lady Bird? No, I didn't. It's it's also directed by Greta Gerwig, and I think she wrote it too. Mm-hmm. It is great. Yeah. It's it's with uh, Saoirse Ronan, and it's it's a great movie. It's kind of coming of age. Um, it it kind of it situates itself in that like high school kind of realm. Um, it's a great movie. Yeah, and I'm excited for Barbie. Again, am I going to go see it in theaters? Probably not. Right, but I'm definitely looking forward to it. Yeah, like I, I'm I'm interested just to see. Like I think because of who's involved, it's got to be more than just popcorn and entertainment. Right. I feel like there's got to be, there's going to be some sort oh, of a, for a sure. deeper for sure. For sure. thing. And I just, just the, the IP that Barbie is, yep. you know, I feel like there, there's got to be something bigger to it. It, it's, it can't just be so basic of Barbie comes to the real world and has to go back and she's going to have learned what it really means to be a woman or, or something right. silly like that. I feel like it's gonna, it's gonna have something that's way more impact. And that makes it even more interesting knowing the history of Barbie as a toy. Right. And like what that stood for, what that's done, you know, those what kind that means of things to people, because exactly. they're, they're, they're still exactly. like people who are just crazy about it. Exactly. You know? So I don't know. I'm really interested. Yeah. Um, competing with Barbie. Yep. Is Christopher Nolan's newest endeavor. Mm. And I'm like even more excited for this. Sure. Coming in at, from what I understand, almost three hours or maybe even over three hours at this yeah. point. And that's uh, Killian Murphy as Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. Everything about this is in my wheelhouse. It yes. is, uh, from what I understand, the entire movie is black and white. It's it's a, a biopic. Uh, I love Killian Murphy. Um, that, that whole story of um, J. Robert Oppenheimer, you know, I, ha- I am become death. Like I am, dude. Yeah, this is like I'm primed for this. Yeah, I mean, just Christopher Nolan and his gallery of amazing movies. Yep, where it's hard to find a a bad one. He he, and, until he like goes off the wall. Like it, it's going to be hard to not be absolutely pumped. Exactly for his next thing. Like Tenet's another one that we've yet to discuss specifically. <laughs> yeah, and. That one blew my mind apart. Yep. Of how complex, but yet at the same time, narratively in terms of storytelling, like just, you know, you you take that one and you take Inception and you take Memento. Mm -hmm. Taking, talking about like going through a story narratively in a way that makes no sense, but finding a way to make it work. Right. Who else has done it? Yeah. You know? Not not in this way. I, I think it's going to be more along the lines of Dunkirk. Sure. It, it's going to be Nolan in that I'm telling a story and it's going to be a nonlinear narrative, but you're taking an individual's life. So you, you can't give it the interstellar treatment. You can't give it the memento treatment, but you can give it a Dunkirk treatment right. of how are we going to play with those ideas that's what i'm looking forward to well and the cast oh god this cast is wild yeah <laughs> like, uh emily blunt emily blunt iron man robert, robert downey, downey Jr., Jr., florence Pugh, freaking kenneth branagh hamlet himself kenneth branagh matt damon Rami malik gary oldman like come on like th- this is setting up to be the movie of a decade kind of a thing <sighs> if it's if it's there and you know how how is it not? This one, I'm probably gonna not buy my ticket for Barbie, and I'm probably gonna buy my ticket oh, for, for sure. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. This one has, I think, has to be seen in theaters. I think it does. Yeah. I think it does. The next weekend, yeah, you're gonna come across the haunted, or I think it's just called haunted mansion. Rosario Dawson sure. is picking up the Eddie Murphy mantle, yep, and is haunted mansioning it again. Sure. Hard that, pass. That's it. <laughs> that's it. That's all that needs From to be said. From what I've seen so far, like the, that's all that needs to be said. You know, uh, I, I had a lot of hopes for the Eddie Murphy haunted mansion. I thought that, like, because that one came after Pirates. Yes. So Pirates of the Caribbean, when that one came out, and it was like, oh shit, they can actually do something cool with these movies that are based off of attractions. Yep. Cool. I can't wait to see what you do with Haunted Mansion. And then it was like, oh, screw that. Hated it. But I think the issue was Eddie Murphy to me. 
because it was Eddie Murphy being Eddie Murphy, which I, I like Eddie Murphy, but it was Eddie Murphy in that period of like daddy daycare. Yeah. And like films in that realm of like family friendly, Dr. Doolittle, family friendlier Eddie Murphy. And it was like, yeah, if, if they, huh. if they would have taken it more in a direction of like, what, what, what's the, what's the word from like Ghostbusters, the paranormal, mm-hmm. obviously like it's the haunted mansion. So it's still gotta be Disney ish, but sure. if there was just more in that and like more of a time period piece. But do, dealing with the supernatural, right? That I think it would have been better, and I think just because like that's kind of the direction that they went with pirates, yeah. Where it was more of a, a a period piece that worked so well to do it in in a contemporary setting just didn't work. But and unfortunately, that kind of looks like what they're doing with this one. Yeah, I agree. And it just I don't know the trailers have not yeah, intrigued you're trying me to at update all. Updated it a little too much. Yeah. Yeah. Which brings us to August, which means we've got one final drink before we talk about the insanity of the August movie scene. Okay. All right. I'm going to go grab it. Let's do it. All right. All right, Kyle. Our final drink. I I grabbed it. Got it in my hand. Yep. Here it is. There it is. This is the Kentucky Coolers. We're back to punch, but we got a citrus punch. Citrus punch. Yeah. We got the same kind of thing. Drink it any damn way you please. You know, all all the deal. You know the deal. 5% ABV. The perfect partner to a sunny afternoon. Sip chilled. Here we go. All right. It's going to have some color to it, but I feel like this one's going to be the lightest of them all. Agreed. If not crystal clear. Ass cube? Sure. All right. Just just based off of appearance, I'm going to say this is going to be the most disappointing. This looks the most seltzer-esque to me. Looks seltzer-esque. Looks light in flavor. Yep. Um, and just the idea of like a citrusy thing, it's going to be like a boozy Sprite. I think so. Yeah. On the nose? Boozy Sprite. Well, not even boozy. Just yeah. like Ju- watered down fruit? Sprite. <laughs> juicy fruit? It's got that juicy fruit. Fruit roll up Okay. Fruit roll up. I don't want a juicy fruit. But not like, yeah, it's like the tropical fruit roll Zebra gum. Spritey. Spritey. Taste? Here we go. Yep. More more grapefruit than I expected. I was going to say more grapefruit, yeah. Yeah. It's got a bitter note. It does. It's it's grapefruity, <laughs> which is actually kind of nice. Uh, yeah, I'll be honest. Like, I expected lemon and orange. Yeah, I expected like just Sprite. Mm-hmm. But that grapefruit bitter is kind of refreshing. Yeah, it's, I would say it leans more grapefruit than lemon, lime, and, and orange. Because when you say citrus... Grapefruit's like the the yeah the last fourth thing yeah, yeah the, the yeah, last you think lemon lime and like orange yeah lemon lime orange tangerine clementine mm. nectarine kumquat <laughs> nectarine grapefruit <laughs> nectarine is not citrus you think of it first <laughs> okay. before you ever get to grapefruit gotcha <laughs> what's the like the big ass a pomelo you ever seen one of those yeah it's like a big ass grapefruit right it's not bad. Yeah, no, it's it's genuinely not bad. Yeah. Again, I, I think like we're going to the beach or, you know, you're hanging out at, by the pool, uh, some friends and like, hey, this is what we got. Yeah, yeah. I'm fine Again, with it. You, you nailed the flavor. Mm-hmm. The flavor's right. Mm-hmm. It's not too much flavor, too sweet or too yeah. just ugh. And it's not watered down. It's not light like the strawberry was. The strawberry is the worst one. Strawberry so was yeah. disappointing. Yeah, yeah. I, I think out of this one, though, this is the only one where I wish there was more carbonation. Like, just give me a slight bit more carbonation here. Perhaps. More bubbles make it a little more better. Yep. Yep. But, man, I, I think, you know, talking about it in that seltzer episode, which is either already out or about to come out someday it's, soon. It's going to come out in the next couple of weeks. You make the point in that episode, teaser, um, you know, spoiler alert, Yeah. about how you're looking for a seltzery type thing. Sure. That might be it. These don't disappoint. And, and they're These are pretty great. 120 calories, not terribly expensive. Not in this whole realm of like you know not straight liquor things. Mm-hmm. These are not bad. They're not beer. No, but they are malted. But yeah, they're in the ballpark. These are not bad. They're they're really not bad. Yeah, yeah. These, I, I these kinda... get the stamp of approval Ooh, from, from me. That's actually high praise because when you hear the episodes coming out in a couple weeks, yeah, or over the next couple weeks where we do some of the. Uh, Seltzers, uh, the seltzers Kyle's and disappointment that, is palpable. <laughs> that, that that Jack Daniels thing, like, I just feel like that was all they could be. Yeah, is this like seltzery thing that's like usually oh, overly but, carbonated, or these like 
way too sweet, yeah. way too just melted everything. popsicle, just disgusting. Yes, yeah. yeah. This is finding that happy spot. Agreed. That's agreed. Genuinely refreshing. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. One hundred percent. Good All right. call, man. Thank you. You did it. You found the thing. I did. And leave it up to Jim Beam to make it happen. I know. There you go. I know. There you go. I'm I'm actually pleasantly surprised. Same. All right, August. You ready? Yep. Coming out on August 4th, we have the sequel to the actually pretty big creature feature hit, The Meg. This one's Meg 2, The Trench. Did you see Meg, The Mm. Meg? Mm -mm. I don't even know what that's about. It's with um, Jason Statham. Okay. And he plays in this movie, and there's a Megalodon. There you go. It's like Jaws. Dinosaur? Yeah, Jaws with Megalodon. Oh, sure. Basically. Okay. You, you, you got the thing. And it's actually not bad. Hmm. I'm not going to recommend it to everybody. Yep. But if you want a, a shark movie. If that's your thing. Yeah. That's uh, kind of in Sharknado. line with Jaws. It's a little better than Sharknado. <laughs> it's not that campy. Uh, it's it's not terrible. Okay. I'd watch it again. I, I watched the Meg once and I thought it was fine. I am not going to go to the theater to see this one, but if you uh, catch it, but I do like I do like a, a shark movie. My favorite movie, or one of my favorite movies, depending on which day you ask me, is right. Jaws. Actually, I think this isn't bad. Okay, and uh, fair enough. I actually like Jason Statham. Like th- what you like. Thanks. Yeah. No. No yucking of the yums here. No, not at all. Yeah. After that, Kyle comes a movie I know you're dying to see, and that is. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem. Um, is there a trailer out for that? Like, I, I remember seeing it and being like interested. I mean, I do love the turtles. Like, I, I I will genuinely just about watch anything to do with the Ninja Turtles. They they hold a special place in my heart. That was like my first, probably the the first thing that I was ever like just nerd into. Sure, was the Ninja Turtles. So I'm I'm always willing to give them a chance to you know give me something nostalgic, <laughs> and you know I heard like Joe Joe not Joe Rogan Seth Rogan Seth Rogan yeah is uh, involved and they were trying to do some some new cool things with it so I'm sure I will see it at some point in time. Here's I the, won't go to the theaters. No, so. here's the only saving grace is that it's animated. Yeah, to me like that that's and it's it's animated from what I've seen in the same kind of style as Spider Verse. Yeah, so I might be on board here. I'm I'm waiting for there were there was some test footage done, not test footage, but like somebody put together a a CGI, but it, it was like a reel of taking the the turtles from our youth, uh-huh. the live action looking turtles. Okay, I think I brought this up at some point in time, but. It's a shot. It's a. It's just, it's just a, a quick shot of Donatello doing some moves, mm-hmm. but it's just a quick little you know, thirty second maybe shot of him doing some stuff. And I and I just assume it's CGI because God damn it, it looks great. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, give me that movie right now. Yep. Uh, you can have all my money. I want to see that. I want to see those turtles, but being able to do like crazy shit. Yeah. Like crazy. Like just maneuvers and acrobatics and kicking turtle shell. <laughs> like I want to see that so bad. Not not just like, you know, like fake karate. Right. Like do it with some some stuff that you could do nowadays with the technology that we have and I'm for it. Yeah. Cuz that, that just that just that 10 seconds or whatever it is looks so good. I Have you seen it? I have. Yeah, you know I know what I know okay. what you're talking about. Yeah, it does. Uh, I was burned by the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in um, previous iterations. Well, they were Michael Bay. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. And I am. I mean, just, they were Michael Bay. Sure. Out. And there was some stuff. It, the, the second one. No, it, I didn't. I didn't see it. The second one, they did the the Krang mm-hmm. and the Technodrome. Mm-hmm. Like they went nerdy as hell with it, and like mm-hmm. I really appreciate the last, like the the final act of that movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like not bad because they went they went hardcore nerd. I believe on it. you. I believe you. So for that alone, like I give it props of like man, y'all went Krang on it. You 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 pulled out Krang, this little brain dude in a armor suit. Like good on you, man. You went all the way. Mm. Didn't see it. <laughs> I'm telling you. Okay. Yeah, I I believe you. I I trust you. Um. 
Don't watch the rest of the movie. Watch <laughs> okay. that. Watch that last the third act. Third, I'll, I'll, the third I'll, act, I'll, man. I'll find it. Like I'll they're they're it. putting together the Technodrome, and Krang is there, man. Full glory. That that I might actually Shit. watch. Okay. Crazy. Then we have in August 11th the release of Gran Turismo the movie. Okay. Did you ever play Gran Turismo? I did. Yeah. Yep. Um, I don't know. Uninterested. I saw the trailer for it the yeah. other day, and I was just kind of like. No, this doesn't. David Harbour's in it. Orlando care. Bloom. Yeah, I I think that's gonna be fine. But like, it's a it's a sort of adaptation of a video game, which I'm just confused. Well, but they they reference the video game right in it. Yeah, and they're they're it's these kids who are like really good at the video game. Correct. And now we're gonna give you a chance to actually drive these cars. Exactly. And I feel like I heard or saw something where it's like based off of a true story. Correct. Yeah, th- this guy was a like played the video game was a like a Gran Turismo like whiz. Right. And they're like, can you make this into real life? And like I guess he does it. Yeah. Um huh. Yeah. I, I it's, not, it's, you know. It seems like a weird choice for both Orlando Bloom and David Harper. Uh, agreed. Because I just I don't know. Agreed. Yeah, just not interested really. So then there's this this film coming out. Um, it's actually from I think it's a Norwegian film. It's called The Last Voyage of the Demeter. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm actually looking forward to this. It is a uh, a Dracula kind of telling. I don't know if you've ever read Dracula. It's a what's known as an epistolary novel, which means it's like told in letters. Mm-hmm. Um, and one of those series of letters is a letter from a, a captain, and um, it's a it's like what happens aboard a ship and Dracula is basically on the ship. Right. And he's being transported, I think to America, if I remember right from like old world Europe to like America. And obviously people start to die. Am I going to go see him in the movie theaters? Absolutely not. But I'm interested in it because it's a, a retelling of like that Dracula story that we, we all know. Yeah, I want to like see a trailer. Slightly different. That sounds yeah. That sounds great. The Voyage of the Demeter. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm interested. Yep. Um, and then we go to the Blue Beetle. Yeah. August 18th. Thoughts? Pass. Really? Yep. Why? I mean, I actually thought like this one might be in your wheelhouse a bit. Well, I mean, it's it's DC. Sure. And it is. it's still part of this series of movies that are connected to the old DC right that don't have a place in the new DC and that's DC's unless it problem. works well but it, it's also uh, what is like the same thing with, with you didn't mention Aquaman does Aquaman not come out this summer is uh, that later on I think it's later yeah it's the same thing with that like I, I don't if I already know this character's done mm-hmm. ahead of time I don't know like I'm just I'm so confused by it all like Flash, I'm like I said, I don't care. I just want to go see my Batman. Right. <laughs> um. So so Blue Beetle, like the the trailer that I that I've seen. Um. Okay, I think I think you know we're we're in that phase of like introducing new heroes is gonna be hard. Yep. Really hard. Like yep. how, how is he different from? Half a dozen other heroes, right? You know, well, Blue Beetle is essentially the Venom of DC, if I remember correctly. Right. Well, it it sounds like he's a cross between Venom, Green Lantern, and Iron Man. Uh huh. Where it's like he has a suit, right? And the suit is the thing that's giving him the power. So, but the suit is an alien. Yeah, it's like extraterrestrial. It 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 it, it chooses the. Right, the thing. So it's it's similar the in symbiote. all of those ways to the symbiote or the ring in Green Lantern, right? Or just like Tony's suit that has like AI, and so it it thinks along with him, right? And can create the thing that he needs it to be in real time. I don't know. Huh. So it just it's it's just I don't know how you separate and make that different and unique. The trailer didn't give me that. I don't know a whole lot about the Blue Beetle. No, me neither. So, but it's just, but I do know where DC is right now, which is in this era of transition. And this is in that tail end where it's, it's, this was all done and shot and made before James Gunn was Uh 
brought in. So is this a one-off? Maybe it's a great movie and it's and it's a fantastic standalone, but I, I, I didn't see Shazam, Fear of the Gods, but I know that Wonder Woman was in it. Right. Um, obviously, Aquaman will be in Aquaman. Sure. Um, ben Affleck is in The Flash. Is there going to be some cameo in Blue Beetle? Probably. Probably. And is that going to be tied into the old DC? <laughs> Probably. So it's just like, I'm just so confused by it that it just it's just where my headspace is. It's like, I don't care. I'm looking forward. Right. And I'm, I, and I, and I, and I, I think James Gunn's going to do great things. So I'm just kind of more well, ready for that to this happen. Just, this just highlights DZ's problem of like, what is your narrative and who is your super, who are your superheroes and who's playing those superheroes? Because again, and we've, we've mentioned this multiple times, how many Batmans are there at this point? Right. How, how many different Supermans and like what, what, what's going on? Like, I think that's the honest, like the smartest thing they could do is to try as best they can is to make this just this story. Right. Like don't reference anything else. Anybody else. Yeah. Don't reference anything. Just make this. It's a, it's just a well, movie and, and in and of that's, itself. That's what's successful about the early Marvel movies is like, they're not referencing anything else. And even like some of the standalone Marvel movies, like, you know, you, you think of like some of the Thor movies, it, it's like, oh yeah, that thing is happening over there. Like we reference other people, but it's not a DC or it's not an Avengers movie. It's a, in a singular film. But like that, that's just like the problem where we live right, right now is that we've got those. Sure. And now we do have the MCU and we've had the the DCEU, and there's always this expectation of connected stuff, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, know how, they, off I don't know how they deal with it, but you know, based off of Shazam's money, like it was just a huge flop, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, you know what wasn't a huge flop? Yeah, I do. These Jim Beam Kentucky coolers. Yeah, they were great. Surprisingly, so who knew? If only, like you and I both know what's in the future for listeners. Yeah. If only that was the case for everything else that's about to happen. Well, what's crazy? Like I, I would. N- there's no chance I would ever have purchased these. Ag- I, especially absolutely. based off of the Jack Daniels experience. One hundred percent. No chance. I'd be like, no way. Yeah, I will not ever buy these. So, the fact that you did purchase them so that we could try them, and and they're not bad. Well, I was gonna say like. Try them and, and and hoping for like another like gross episode. <laughs> These are fantastic. Yeah. These are actually really tasty. Listen, I, I gotta be honest with you. I go into all of those episodes and all the episodes that are on the horizon just hoping that you're gonna find something that you like. This was it. And this was it. So it's all downhill from here. <laughs> Will you be buying more? Um, that is a great question. And the answer is no. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. Like I'll never <laughs> if, if, if there was like some sort of a bizarre instance where it's like i'm out somewhere and i'm I'm looking for a drink and that's somehow the only thing available i would not be adverse to it right exactly exactly but would i ever purchase because like like you were saying can you buy just a six pack no probably not you have to buy buy the whole thing so like there's no way you know i can't imagine the circumstance where i would want 12 dozen yeah why do i want 12 of these exactly I, i i would drink one or two. Yeah. Yeah. So let's rank them real quick. Yep. All right. Your bottom out of the four. Definitely strawberry. Absolutely. Yeah. For no sure. No good. Not Pass great. on that all. Yeah. That, that one. If that, that is the, the only thing you got at the party, I'll just have water. So, <laughs> hose water. Not worth it. Yeah. I, I mean, I've been sitting in this pool for this entire episode. It's and, lukewarm at this point. <laughs> well, I, I drink this water over that strawberry. There was that weird wave of warmth that <laughs> I'm sorry. washed over. <laughs> well, you know, it just it happens from time to time. And, uh, you, you, said, said, you said not to worry about it. But. Yeah, well, you said you wanted to be comfortable. Right. Yeah. Right. I would say from there, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the I'm gonna go with citrus. Yeah, it's a tough call. I'm actually gonna go with I mean the, the top three yeah. separate themselves. Oh yeah. <laughs> Strawberry sure. was clearly at the bottom. <laughs> Absolutely. But yeah, no, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say that the uh the the Arnold Palmer, the the, yeah, the lemonade okay. iced tea. That's that's the third one. Yeah, that 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 fake tea note mm-hmm. wasn't bad, but yes. it was just kind of like, mm, 
I'd rather it be like natural gotcha. flavor. Yeah. So that that for me that puts the Arnold Palmer in my second spot. Yep. Um, I would replace that with a citrus punch. Which which to me like again there might even be interchangeable. Yep. Um, I, I wish like the citrus punch had a little bit more flavor. Yeah. But I actually do like that grapefruit note. Yep. And the Arnold Palmer, I agree with you completely. It's that fake tea note, but also the lemon aspect kind of offsets a little bit. Yeah. They're basically tied for second to me. Yep. Or third, I guess, at that point. Yep. Uh, which means that the black cherry is wild. Insane. Who knew? I know. I would never. Because literally, you went into that going like, cherry's well, not my yeah. jam. Here's the bottom one. Yeah. I totally thought that would be like the nasty. <laughs> yeah. Right. But and uh, all. That was. It's it's the one that's actually. Quite good. It's, uh, it's pretty delicious. Yeah, I agree. Mm. I, I would sip on that one. We should have saved a little bit. Why? To see if the, the, the collaboration of all of them oh, was the, yeah. the clear winner. Yeah. We didn't do it. They were too good. They, <laughs> they were don't, too good. We couldn't we couldn't help but don't go polish crazy. off don't those go, glasses. Don't go crazy here. Anyway. You got anything else? No. No, nah, I mean either. I'm looking for how, how many movies do you think you'll go see in theaters? Honestly, this might be the biggest summer that I've had in like the last five years. For sure. Seriously, I want to I'm gonna go four. Then that's that's huge for me. I'm man. gonna I'm gonna count Little Mermaid. Okay. I probably won't see it though until we're on the boat. Sure. Mm, yeah, I'm thinking like four or five. Yeah. I'm gonna, but I feel like that's kind of like for summer anyway. Yeah. I feel like that might be like my average. See, that that's that's way above my average. Yeah. I'm gonna say I, I can go four or five. Yeah, maybe maybe six. I don't know. So yeah. Six. It, it's it dang. I might be spending wow. some money. Okay, I probably gotta get a summer job for this. Yeah. Go Man. work at the movie theater part time. <laughs> get those free tickets. Yeah. Well, I, I'm just looking forward to like free popcorn, but you know. Stale popcorn's my jam, man. Yep. Yeah. You, you sit in your kitty pool. Put jam on your popcorn occasionally. Yeah. Sitting in my kitty pool. <laughs> you sit- take your kitty pool to the theater. <laughs> they let you do that. I guess they don't say they, no to I naked was man. Say, they, they, they don't me. say no to naked man. Naked. Oh, I guess you're right. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sir. <laughs> just cover up. Yeah. Just go quick. <laughs> sit in the front row. You have to show up thirty minutes early. Okay. Set up. <laughs> front front row. Kitty pool. Front row. Yeah. All right, you don't get to sit in the middle of the aisle. Make well, people step listen, into your pool I, to get around listen, you. Listen, listen, listen. I'm a pro. This. <laughs> I'm a pro. Of this. I go at like eleven. I'm not going to no eight o'clock like movie with a bunch of nah. Oh, you go to you go to the early. Oh, I'm going to the not early. eleven o'clock. Nah, at night. Nah, nah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Opening night. Yeah, no, no. no. What's, what what time is the movie theater open? Nine o'clock a.m. Yeah, I'll be there. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not no. pool. Pool ready to go. <laughs> exactly. Stale popcorn in my jam. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and, and my black cherry. And a pair cooler. of trunks to lay on the side. <laughs> exactly. I don't need no towel. <laughs> I'll drip dry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, on that note, we want to know what you think about all of the movies coming out this summer. What did we miss and what are you most looking forward to? Yep. And why is it? Michael Keaton Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Like that that might be a total of like five minutes in the entire movie. You're like, I don't give a shit. Could care. Yeah, you're totally right. <laughs> like it, it literally could be like five minutes. We yeah. may have already seen every scene that he's Legit. got. Yeah. Yeah. We also want to know what do you think about the Jim Beam Kentucky cooler? Indeed. Yeah. Like, cause man, if you if you're looking for that refreshing kind of off of the norm exactly. beverage that's exactly. it that's it they're highly recommended yeah not bad at all yeah not bad i i i tell anybody go try one totally Just see what you think yeah these are yeah. tasty well you can get in touch with us through email at drepinstone at gmail.com you also get in touch with us through social media it's always one word drepping stone d-r-e-p in stone you find us you like us comment on a thing share a thing like a thing Post a thing, share a thing. Lots of things you could do, and we'd be really appreciative of all of those things. Tell us what you're watching this summer. Just reach out. Say, hey, here's what I'm watching. What do y'all think about it? Okay. It's pretty easy. We'll let you know. We'd also love it if you help support the podcast. Keep that fan working, because, Kyle, it's the height of summer in Florida. Man, those July months. Yeah. (laughs) Those July weeks, man. (laughs) Woo, dog. Yeah. You know, swamp ass and a half. You need it cranking. Yeah, well, it's, it's on right now, and it's we're recording at, like, 10.30. Boom. P.M. Bring it. And it's on right now. It's still hot. It's still warm. <laughs> uh, you can support the podcast a couple of different ways. First way would be through our Patreon page. It's patreon.com slash stone. A lot of cool things going on there. Some travel behind the scenes. A couple of pours. A couple of episode notes. 
Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? What's going on? Like, we don't even know what's going on, right? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know? No, I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? You can also support Drep and Stone by rating Drep and Stone wherever it is you find great podcasts like this one. Honestly, just go out and uh, give us a couple stars. Yeah, thumbs. Yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, comments. Yeah, a little like. Sure, a little comment why not there. yeah it really helps other thing. people find the podcast and finally in all of your summer travels that are probably happening right now or forthcoming just tell someone you're on a plane yeah you're on a train you're in an automobile right just tell that person next to you maybe a tank in a tank just in case well who knows you never know where yeah. you're gonna be that's, that's submarine oh well you know we got a lot of submariners listening to the podcast yeah with all that said, Kyle. Yep. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. May your glass overflow. And your ass never show. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Michael Keaton Batman's. Does it hold up? Nope. Bat shit like, crazy. Th- this this duck that he's driving around the whole time. Where the fuck did he get that? <laughs> Who made that thing for him? <laughs> Nobody cares. He just has it. Narragansett. I can understand too small of a glass. I don't know how you get up too big of a glass. Like you, you best be careful. <laughs> you you put down a six pack real quick. What is he? Oh <laughs> yeah, we're <the> kidding. <laughs> hey, just wait for the bubbles. <laughs> It's gonna be mad. <laughs> you excited again? Look at you. Little fishy. Little <laughs> fishy. Okay, bye. Progress. Okay, bye. I don't know. Have, Riding you, been, the have horse. you been around a CrossFit gym lately? I've seen some 80-year-old dudes do some shit. You don't believe me. I can tell. I can see it in your eyes. I don't. Eyes up here. Up here. Mm. Up here. Thank mm. you. Okay. Just making sure. I don't believe me. That's okay. That's fine. Uh-oh. Which means we've got one final drink, but I'm gonna pee my pants if I don't go to the bathroom. <laughs> you know. Pee up the pool. A pee up the pool. You're going to yeah, overflow yeah. the pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. So uh, I see. we'd also love it if you support the podcast. You can do so. Do so. Do so? <laughs> <laughs> you beat me to it. God damn it. <laughs> I was trying. <laughs> you were working it up.